Hey guys, what's up? It's Razor Sara here. And in this guide, I will be showing you the most effective and most efficient way to solo the Ceridome and God Wars dungeon boss in the Evolution of Combat. The requirements are not too high, and the gear can be adjusted to your levels. Please note, the God Wars dungeon is a very dangerous area, and the chance of death is always a possibility, so only bring items and gear you are willing to risk. Apart from that, good luck on your kills, and have fun. In addition to being very dangerous, the boss can also be very profitable. While soloing, be on the lookout for some high value drops you can receive from the boss and her minions, such as the Ceridoman's Hiss Amulet, the Ceridoman's Murmur Amulet, the Ceridoman's Whisper Amulet, the Ceridoman Godsword Hilt, the Ceridoman Sword, and Armadale's Crossbow. On screen now you will see a list of recommended and required levels for the Ceridoman God Wars Dungeon Solo. These include 90 plus constitution with a 70 minimum, 70 agility is required to enter the Ceridoman encampment, 94 plus magic and ancient spells with a minimum of 70 magic with ancient spells, 80 plus defense with a minimum of 50, 95 prayer with a minimum of 70, 96 herb lore for overloads recommended, and 88 summoning for a unicorn with a minimum of 77 for a healing titan. On screen now is a downgrade list of weapons and armor useful for soloing the Ceridome and God Wars dungeon boss. Please note that you should always use the best weapons and armor that you have available to your level and that you are able to afford. For example, if you have 85 defense but cannot afford Virtus, then Ganodermic and Arams are always good alternatives. On screen now you will see an example set up an inventory that you can use against the Ceridome and God Wars dungeon boss to ensure an effective kill. In addition to this, I will also be giving you guys a combat bar that you can use against the Ceridome and God Wars dungeon boss to ensure that your kill goes a lot smoother. On this bar, your first ability will be Impact, your second ability will be Rack, your third ability will be Chain, your fourth ability will be Combust, your fifth ability will be Dragon Breath, your sixth ability will be Wild Magic, your seventh ability will be Asphyxiate, your eighth ability will be Metamorphosis, your 9th ability will be Rejuvenate, and your 10th ability will be Immortality. The last two slots on your bar will be taken up by your Quick Prayers and your Familiar. Once you have chosen your setup, it's time to go to God Wars Dungeon. If you have not completed the Love Story Quest, then you will have to walk from Birthra. If you have completed the Love Story Quest, then teleport to Trollheim with a tablet. Once you arrive, you will need to climb down the mountain and make your way to the large boulder blocking the way to the dungeon. Once you arrive at the boulder, you will need either 60 strength or 60 agility to get past it. Since I have 80 agility, and it is the fastest method, I will squeeze past the boulder. Once past the boulder, simply run north and climb down into the dungeon. Once inside, quickly run east and climb down the rocky wall into the first room of the encampment. Once you have arrived inside the God Wars dungeon, you will need to kill 40 of Ceridoman's followers before you can face the boss. To do this quickly and effectively, we will be killing the Spiritual Warriors and the Knights of Ceridoman. To make sure that we are only attacking these specific ones, we will set our spe active spell to Ice Blitz. This will avoid us hitting the Spiritual Mages, the Ceridoman Priests, and anything else that may be in the area such as the Spiritual Rangers. To make sure that we are attacking just them, Click on them, and then immediately start casting your spells. During this time, we will avoid using the Chain Spell and the Dragon Breath as long as there is another target nearby. Because if we use these, then they will start attacking us as well, and this can cause you to use an unnecessary supplies and cause you unnecessary damage. Alright guys, the part of the guide that you have all been waiting for, this is going to be the boss kill. What you want to do now is go ahead and pot up, click your overload, and click your prayer renewal. Make sure that your quick prayers are set on Torment, Soul Split, and your Protect item. Once you have checked and made sure that they are, go ahead and enter the boss room by after turning on your quick prayers. Once inside, you want to try and gather up all of the minions along with the boss, that way you can deal as much AoE damage as possible. 
it looks like this commander Zilliana has been damaged already so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause and then I'll unpause after uh, she has respawned and we get a fresh one that way I can show you guys exactly what to do alright guys commander Zilliana has respawned so immediately what you want to do is run over here next to where Growler is what this is going to cause is all the minions are now going to stack underneath Commander Zilliana, and you're just going to Ice Barrage the crap out of these guys while using your Dragon Breath ability and your Chain ability. And what this is going to allow is you can just sit there all day soul splitting, and no matter what these guys try to do, they're never going to deal enough damage to take you down. Throughout the fight, if you have the chance to use a 6C8 on Commander Zilliana, do so. The moment you charge up to your ultimate ability, use it immediately. Because what this is going to allow is you to use your area of effect abilities with much greater power. And this is going to ensure that not only do you deal heavy amounts of damage to the boss, but by the time that the boss dies, you can immediately kill off all of the minions. And that just makes it easier, that way you don't have to waste prayer between boss kills or anything like that, they're all just, you know, dead and gone. And, you know, that's pretty much all you have to do with this method, guys. You're just going to sit there barraging the crap out of them, using your area of effect abilities, using your ultimates, using Asphyxiate to get that kill as quickly as possible. And, like I said, guys, it's pretty much just as simple as that. But, that's pretty much all I have for this guide. I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this guide, then feel free to leave a like rating. If it helped you out, feel free to leave a like rating. If you would like to see more videos from me, then feel free to click the subscribe button above. It'll keep you up to date on whenever I put out a video, and you'll never miss one. But other than that, guys, I've been Regisaro, and as always, peace and enjoy the music. <laughs> Thank you.